Good day. Welcome back to First Take. We head to the association where the Mavericks' seven-game win streak was snapped last night by the Pacers. Indiana center Miles Turner led the way with season-high 33 points as the Pacers were able to overcome a combined 62-point effort from star guards Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic. Here's how the Western Conference standings shake out after this weekend. The Mavericks sit in eighth place in the West but only trail the fifth-place Kings by half a game. Overall, four teams are within a half game of each other, all fighting to stay out of the play-in tournament. Reminder that the top six seeds go straight into the playoffs. Kendrick Perkins back here with us. Big Perk, you buying the Mavs as legit contenders or you feel like they're pretenders? I am buying it. And, and I said it last week, I feel like Luka is the most dangerous player in the Western Conference. Um, I, I mean, the pieces that they picked up at the trade deadline – and P.J. Tucker, um, I mean, P.J. Washington, that was a huge pickup. And also the kid from uh, from the Washington Wizards. I think when you look at what Luka has been doing and Kyrie has been doing, one could argue that they, has been, they have been the most, you know, lethal offensive duo in the game. Jason Kidd got them playing fantastic ball on both sides of the floor. I love what this kid Derek Lively is bringing to the table. Tim Hardaway Jr., he could be up for six man of the year right now, what he's doing. And right now, it looks like they're playing agenda-free basketball, and everybody has bought into their roles. And when I look at the Western Conference, no team really want to face that duo of Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic because both of those guys are capable of having an explosive offensive night that can win you a game in any series or win you a series in any against any opponent in the Western Conference. Oh, Bert, who did, but okay, I give you this. Let's just say for the sake of argument, they got they gave you 60 plus last night. Who they guard? Who Luca guard? Who Kyrie guard? Who is that team guard? They got at some point in time you got to get stopped. Shannon, Shannon, yeah. nobody's guarding nobody in today's game, okay? But, that, saying, that, but, like, but in crunch, in clutch clutch. Time, in crunch time, you got to. If They don't get any, any easy buckets. They ain't got nobody that can play with their back. Okay, look at Jokic. Look at Cat. Look at team you said in the Western Conference for the most part. Now, uh, uh, even, even Chet Holmgren, you know, he can play with his back to the basket a little bit. But who they got that can play with their back to the basket to get you an easy bucket? I ain't talking about one of those acrobatic Houdini shots Luka. that Kyrie and Luke. Look, Luca, Luca and Kyrie. When you talk about two of the best post-up wings and guards in the league, they, they, Kyrie they six foot tall. He ain't about posted it, up nobody. That don't mean. What you, are you tell me? You tell me you um, you haven't been watching basketball without Kyrie, telling me you haven't on. been watching Ky basketball. Kyrie already posted Kyrie up. don't so have a post game. Kyrie don't have a post game. That's what oh you're saying. Shannon Sharp, are you sitting up here on national television yes, and yes. telling me that how many Kyrie times, how, many, how many times you saw Kyrie down on the block say, give me the ball down on the block, Perk? Come on now. I'm not saying no, he can't Steven, finish. Uh, look. Yeah, oh, we Steven, know Luka. We know, we, look, we know Luka like to play, Luka like to play out of the post, kind of like LeBron, because now he's a bigger guard. He can get that. But they don't get any easy buckets, Perk. They're, and I get it. They won seven or ten, but Perk, they not no serious threat because they don't have anybody to match up with Minnesota. They don't have anybody to match up with the Nuggets. They don't have anybody to match up with the Clippers. Come on, bro. But well, you got to cut. There's a couple of things. First of all, yeah, Ky, hold on, hold on, hold on, Perk. First of all, Kyrie's not posting you up often, but when he when he wants to, he has done it and he has done it successfully. We know he can finish in the open court. Oh yeah, we know for he can sure. On that bat, we know he can finish at the basket as well. And Luca is like averaging 34, nine and eight. I mean. He's been nothing short of spectacular. I think when you pick up a guy like Daniel Gafford in the, in, before the trading deadline, you got P.J. Washington, you got Kleber back as well. You've got some size, you've got some additional shooters, you got Jim, Tim Hardaway Jr. playing, uh, you know, playing the way that he's been playing. I would tell you this about the Dallas Mavericks. You are absolutely right. Do I consider them an elite defensive team? Hell no, not by a long shot. But I will tell you this: they're so explosive offensively that they can put you on your heels and make you tight offensively because you know you can't afford mistakes because you can't stop them. And because of that reality, I think, Shannon, that is what makes them a threat. I don't think they're winning the West. You understand? I really, really don't. 
But in the same breath, during the seven-game winning streak that they had, you know, listen, they, they, beat, they beat Phoenix, if I remember correctly. They beat Oklahoma City, if I remember correctly. They've beaten Minnesota earlier this year. It's a regular season game, and I get that. But you see some of the elite teams within the Western Conference. Dallas has beaten them. And so I look at it from that perspective, and I say to myself, if Kyrie and Luka are clicking. Those other brothers are making their contributions. Derek Lively, who K K uh, KP brought up, he's been a big-time acquisition for them, big-time guy for them. I'm looking at them, and I'm saying, could they be a threat? Hell, yes, they could be a threat. Whoa, whoa, if we do using that logic, the Lakers are beating Phoenix. The Lakers are beating OKC. Yeah, yeah. The Lakers are beating but we, the Clippers. But, but, but we look at the Lakers, and we say to ourselves, excuse me, they can't really shoot the basketball. That's what we're lamenting about them. They don't have Jared Vanderbilt on the defensive side of the ball. Last thing we're concerned about is their ability to score and shoot the basketball. Could they score the ball? Could they score it last year? Not really. Not as much. So, no. so, so Luka and... No, they, 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 they had some injuries last year. They weren't healthy. That, that, that okay. played a role. They had well, go ahead. This is, this, is not the, this is not the same team, Shannon. And, and, and look, you know what else matters? Is that what? coach that's walking up and down that sideline. Jason Kidd. J. Kidd knows how to put these guys in position to be successful. And just think about it. Now, the West has gotten better, but Luka has proven that he actually could take a team to the Western Conference Finals. He did oh. it, what, two years ago with Jalen yeah. Brunson. He got mm -hmm. a healthy Kyrie Irving and engaged Kyrie Irving. No one in the world has ever questioned how great Kyrie Irving is. Stephen A. gonna tell you this because he's alluded to it, how box office this young man is. Oh, yeah. We just we want to know when is he going to show up to work? Kyrie Irving has showed up to work. Kyrie yes, Irving yes. has been committed to the Dallas Mavericks. That is a dangerous duo to mess with, and you can ask anybody in the Western Conference if they want to see those two guys in a seven-game series. Not saying that they're going to not uh, – that they can't put up a game plan to beat them, but that scouting report is going to be hard as hell, and it's going to be a tough out. Clutch record. Clutch record. Mm -hmm. Within five points, yeah. last five minutes. Mm -hmm. Dallas Mavericks, 17-6 to six this year. Best clutch record in the NBA right now. Kyrie Irving, Luka Doncic combined, shooting 50% on clutch field, throws, field goals, 48% on three-pointers, 88% on free throws. This is who they are. Can't ignore that. No. Can't ignore that. So, oh, you want a bad part? Where they going? How far are they going? Let's bet. Oh, I got, see, you might bet. I'll tell, tell you this. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. We already got a bet on the table. I'll tell you this, though. I'll tell you this much. I got more trust in the Dallas Mavericks than I do the Los Angeles Lakers right now. Uh, I'll tell you that. Well, that ain't saying much. I mean, come on, it you should are, be, it you should be saying much they, for you. They, it should be saying I, much for you. I, I, got them going you. The I, got the, I got the Lakers going farther. <laughs> That, what you mean that ain't saying much? I said I got the lot. I got, and I said I got more trust in the Mavericks than than I do in the Lakers.